Good morning, caregivers. We are here to talk about the truth about hospitals, refusing care for older adults, and what you can do about it. Stay with me for my caregiving chat of the day. My experience with older adults going to the emergency room is challenging, especially for family members who don't know any better. Hospital emergency rooms now are faced with penalties for readmission of older adults, which in my opinion places the care of older adults at risk and almost prevents older adults from getting care. What you may not know about hospitals today is there is a act through Obamacare that talks about rehospitalization for various conditions like hip fractures, knee replacements, heart attacks, pneumonia, other conditions. And so for hospitals, they want to avoid financial pen penalties for adults being readmitted to the hospital. So what do you think the way around that is? They don't admit older adults to the hospital. They put them on observation. So if you're an older adult and you go to the emergency room, or if you're a caregiver and your parent goes to the emergency room and they stay there for a few hours or overnight, the question that you want to ask is, is my parent, am I admitted or am I on observation? It's difficult to tell because many hospitals, including those here in Denver, have created what they call observation wings that look just like you're in the hospital but they're not gonna tell you that. The staff won't tell you that unless you ask. And you're probably thinking, well, why is any of this important? It's important because if you are not admitted, some insurance companies will not pay for you to go to rehabilitation in a skilled nursing community or a nursing home if you need that care. Observation also is a quick in and out. Their goal is to get you in and out as quickly as possible. And so whatever medical condition you have may not be fully investigated. And of course, they will want you to follow up with your doctor to see what else should be done. I have had clients over the years sent to the hospital and discharged within two hours, only to be sent back the next day. I've argued with case managers at hospitals trying to get my clients admitted because they truly needed medical care. And today, again, it's the hospitals they want to avoid financial penalties from the government. So be careful if you have a loved one who goes to the hospital emergency room for any type of treatment. Make sure you are asking about observation versus being admitted, the ability to go to rehab, Rates are higher for adults who are placed on observation instead of being admitted in hospitals. That's another thing that they won't tell you. I'm Pamela Wilson. I help aging adults and caregivers solve caregiving problems. There is a link in this video to an article that talks about the whole hospital readmission process and what goes on. Check it out so that you are more informed. I will see you in another video tomorrow. Have a fabulous, fabulous day.